Whoa. I started you guys from my perspective this time. How is it going, everyone? Welcome back to John Trudas. Welcome back to the in-game view, guys. I hope you liked that weird intro. And yeah, we're doing another episode of Building with Lemons today. Are you excited? This is going to be amazing. And yeah, unfortunately today, I'm not using the webcam. I've decided that it's not good for Building with Lemons episodes. It's much better without them. I think I have said this in the past, but we're not going to be using them for this Building with Lemons episode as a bit of a test to see if you guys like that better. So I hope you don't mind. Anyways, guys, today we're going to be working on my level that I'm building for the Viper and Contest number eight and or is it nine I'm I don't know <laughs> oh but whatever you get it it's the blue contest the one you can only build in blue colors and it's gonna be a lot of fun so I've already made a little bit of this level and today I'm just gonna be building a flying part so it's been a while since I've decorated a flying part and we'll just get right into it I'll show you what I've done and we will start building and it's gonna be a good time okay so here is what I've done so far I've made a bit of the start I've done the basic deco and some block design and stuff like that I've, this is not what I'm gonna be doing today but this is what I've done so I hope you like the look of that. It took ages to do, and I'm going to be decorating all this with more of the same. So, yeah, that's what we've done there. Now, moving over here, we're going to be decorating this part here today. So, this flying part going along here and then into this part, that's what we're going to be doing today. Because usually, if you've watched a lot of Building with Lemons, we always decorate cube parts, and it's kind of getting a bit old. So, that's why we're going to be doing a flying part today, and I hope you're going to like it. So, let's get right into it. So right away we're going to start out with block design and I think that's what we should do. It's a good idea and we're just going to check the portal lines over here so we can see our boundaries of making where we want to build today. So that's pretty useful in my opinion. So what we're going to be doing for this flying part is we're going to be making angular structures. So like this, like a big triangle, you know, like triangles. Yeah, we've got our triangle. We'll just quickly add our 3D lines straight away to it like this. So 3D lines there and one at the top just to make it more seamless. So there we go, 3D lines. I see you down there, Mr. Block. Oh, look at him. Look, it's a little triangle block down there. We're gonna place him in there and we're gonna make him a dark blue color. So like this, he's dark blue. So yeah, I like that. We're just gonna place a dark blue triangular block down and it's gonna be great. So there we go. Look at that, already on the road to greatness. And we'll just cap it off with some of this to make it more of a border here. And come on, get in there. There we go, corner pieces. And before we do anything else, we're gonna select that edit group and then turn off glow just so it can be more clean and nicer looking so yeah there we go now we're going to start straight out with our glow work and i think we're just going to put go here rotate that 45 degrees and make it a big old flashy glow thing in the middle there so t1 and then look at that looks great already we're going to get the smaller glow over here which is this corner piece here and make these glows on here too so instead of the big one up there, we've got the smaller ones for the corners. And on the other side, we're going to place this down here and color 7, which is black. So black and half opacity. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. It's adding a bit of shading. So shading is always nice. We're going to place that there too. So now I've added our glow for our basic blocks here. By the way, guys, I'm trying out some more advanced kind of stuff because my previous videos have been, you know, not really advanced. And I've, people have been wanting some more cool advanced stuff. So that's basically what I'm doing, you know. I'm just trying out some new designs and seeing how they work and I'm just gradually getting into the more advanced tutorials because I, I really like making basic tutorials, not advanced ones, kind of like old style building and how to build simple levels. But every now and then it is nice to go and go back into the complex stuff, you know, like I did with the laser blitz video. So that's what I'm doing today. So we're going to place this one here and we're going to place a little friend next to it there. So we've got two of them. Now we're going to scale them to the max, so like that all the way scaled up and move them down so there we go look at that we've added something there and now we change it to a lighter color so you see this was this is 16 and that's 17 so this one's darker and that one's lighter so we'll have a nice little contrast right there for us so i think that's pretty cool there we go that's the glow hey that rhymed hey so you can kind of see what i've done i've made like a really cool kind of fading changing surface on this block here so it kind of gets dark and goes brighter and gets darker in the corner and brighter in that corner and I think that is a pretty awesome feature that you should all give a go so that's pretty nice uh, oh okay that, that that block looks pretty nice to me I think we're gonna use it sure so I've added a bit more detailing onto the 3d lines but there's still more we can do and I'm thinking we're just gonna be using this yeah that's that's what we're gonna be doing that is pretty sweet so this block design is basically done I'm gonna add a few more things like ground glow and some inside decoration and then I'll cut to after we've done that and I'll we'll move on to the next thing so I'll see you after that so there we have it one triangular block design done that's pretty nice in my opinion I think we spent a decent amount of time on it so it, I think it's about time we copied some of it around this area here to make it more full so yeah let's go ahead and do that but before we do that I'm gonna make a bigger version of it just so we can have a bit more variation so I'm gonna quickly do that too 
Okay, so there's our bigger version of it. We're also going to do our pulse work before we do that too, because I've had a pretty brilliant idea if I do say so myself. So here, we're just going to place a basic pulse. I'm going to go in here and we're going to go to 17. So if you remember, 17 was our main color we used for this. So this is 17 down here. All A lot of stuff here is 17. And what we're going to do is make it pulse white. So we're going to make a bit of a fade here and see how it's going to pulse white like that. Mmm. Mm. Now we can really get onto the copy pasting and I'm pretty excited to do that to be honest So what we're gonna do is just you know, just copy paste like why would we not want to do that? So I'm thinking just that there and that there so we have a little like Kind of a little a section you got to fly through here So yeah, you got to fly through these two triangles now We're gonna get our bigger one over here, which we've made before too. put that there and this one over here So you got to fly down there and then up there and what we're also going to do is add a few spikes so these aren't going to be the final things but if we add a few spikes here like this and then maybe a few here like that too it's going to make it a bit more difficult because this is going to be a demon of course so yeah that's you get the idea we're just going to be doing that throughout this whole part which isn't very long so you'll forgive me for a bit of copy paste but i mean it is a vibrant contest so you know you can't you can't really just expect me not to copy paste mate all right, that is our block design done. It was actually pretty simple. Um, it took it took a bit of a while to make these individual ones, but of course I did get a bit lazy and copy paste because you know I, I, it's okay. Don't don't hate on me, please, guys. Anyways, we're going to move on to our ground spikes, and ground spikes are pretty important. We're just going to chuck them in in these gaps here, so it's going to be quite simple. So new layer, of course, we always want to go onto our new layer. We're going to make them two, so that's my that's white for me. So we'll have white ground spikes. I'm just going to place them just like this so we're not overlapping with any of the triangles. So yeah, you, you can see what's happening right here. Pretty interesting. Um, I, I hope it's going to work out nicely. You never really know with Geometry Dash, you know, it's a lot of experimenting involved to be honest. We're going to add some glow, so we're going to go for a big heavy, um, I think color 8 actually, color 8 glow. So this is a background color glow, so it will pulse with the background. So we've got these guys down here and these guys look like they want to be used, you know. We're just going to chuck them down. So we've got, look at this, we've got these two guys here, they look pretty happy right there. Like, I think we're going to give them names, like this dude here, this is going to be Fred. So there, there you go, there's Fred, and that is going to be, um, that's going to be Gary. So Fred and Gary, let's chuck them down in the, uh, into their rightful positions. How, how, what do you reckon? And unfortunately, we've had a bit of a problem here. They don't really seem to like each other, and we're going to have to give them a bit of decoration variation. So... Uh, here's a cool little tip you can do with this guys. Okay, so this block here, we're gonna make that two as well. T1. I'm gonna make it as small as we can. So really tiny, a tiny little triangle. Now what we can do is cover it over their eyes halfway. And look at that. He's gotten really mad. <laughs> How good is that? He's an angry little dude now, and then he's not like this dude's like Oh, hello. Oh, you better not come near me, mate. I'm I'm ready to murder someone. I think we might actually give him even more glow, so good old color eight there and one over here too just making them a bit more luminescent so there you go cool so we have our little monster dudes down there we've got a few more things we want to do to the ground spikes before we just go and call it a day so I think we're gonna get these big things here why don't we go like this so we got three different levels of changing stuff so outside is gonna be color four middle um, second middle is gonna be eight and middle is going to be three and we're gonna make it we're gonna give them all custom rotations so outside is gonna be Let's say minus 20 so really slow this one's going to be 30 so kind of slow and the middle one is going to be minus 40 so a little faster so they're all kind of going faster and getting kind of less less bright going to the outside so that is what we're doing for that we can also add one more thing here and that's going to be this and we're just going to make that color too as well so white keeping with the white theme and now we can place that around in a few spots so we can go like this so that that just goes there and we can just do some cool stuff with that so that's another little bit of decoration advice i can give you there so now on to a few little sneaky things that we're going to add in to make this part even nicer and number one we're going to be doing is a big black gradient so gradients are stuff i've covered in the past but not very well so what i'm going to be doing here basically is adding a ground gradient and a sky gradient and i'll show you exactly how to do that so just stick with me and it will be quite simple if you follow along I just accidentally tabbed out of the game. I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> We're going to start by selecting this big old glow down here and placing it in a big line down the bottom. Like, not like that, like that. There we go. We want to make it decently big. So we're going to do the same for the top. So one at the bottom and one at the top. And we're going to make that color six. And for me, six is black. So that's what you want to be doing. Making them black. Make them any color you want as long as it's solid black. That's all you need to do. 
Now once we select it, we're going to go to T3 and make it just make it really high. So I'm gonna I'm thinking 40 should be good enough for our needs today. So 40, 40 high and black and there. We also want to go don't fade and don't enter. So there we go. You've basically set up now. Place it in line with that down there and that that in line there, and we should be good. So yeah, basically it's gonna be huge and black and. Yeah, see how it, see what it does here. It makes a bit of a gradient, and I think it's really nice in my opinion. So we're going to place this into the area where it's going to be needed most. So there, and we're going to I'll give it a new group. So 23, and we want to go straight to the start. And make 23 invisible. So 23 gone. It's invisible. It's gone. Can't see it at all. Now turn back. Turn preview mode back off again, so we can see it again. And then we're going to place a move trigger. So move. We're going to go 23. Lock to player X. 999,000 whatever the hell it is 9999 you get the picture and we're going to make it visible so um, 23 and 100% visible right as soon as we go into this portal so that is how it works I'll just show you an example so it's invisible here when we start and visible and it sticks to the player X so it will be there the whole time so that super useful little tip we can do right there now we only need a few more finishing touches here to make this nicer and of course things like that are saw blades and arrows and of course we've already pre-made them so over here we're going to be using the same ones as this we've already made the saw blades and the arrows so we're just going to be borrowing them because i don't really want to make a new one until further into the level so like maybe halfway through but for now we're going to be reusing these ones just for the sake of time and i'd like to use them anyway so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing and we'll just we'll just make up where they're going to go so we're just going to pretend this one this one's going to go there so it's going to make it a bit harder of course you've got to keep that in mind when you place saw blades down usually it will make the part harder and that's good because we want it to be a demon of course we don't just want it to be super easy and freeze so pretty much we're nearing completion now we've done most of the stuff we need to do there's a few more decoration things that i still want to be working on here so see like this this empty space and this empty space i want to build some advanced deco there some cool new stuff but I won't have time to do it in this episode what we're gonna do now is just one more custom background so instead of doing the bad stuff which I'm gonna do later I'm gonna be doing this a bit of custom custom background we can do pretty simply right now so let's do that so this is going to be a custom background with a big glow so this is kind of like what I did in anatomic if you've seen that level so basically it's quite simple just one of these ones here and then one of these ones so a big glow and a small glow so they're like lines now we're going to get these the sides of them like this and move them over two like that two little steps so now see they've made little lasers like that and combine them like that and it will be even brighter so we can just scale it to the max now like that so big old glow really nice looking awesome that looks pretty sweet so now we've got our big stack of glow here what we're going to be doing is rotating it a little bit so a bit of rotation there we're going to place one there we're going to move it over here rotate it a bit more so just flipping them every couple of intervals there so now we've got four of them that should be plenty for our custom background we'll select them all give them a new group so 24 i mean 34 wow that i wasn't expecting that but 34 we'll move them on here so 34 move um a thousand and i think we're going to go 30 so this is what i usually do um this is my normal move times here and then 30, 34, we're going to make it visible. So 34 and I think we're going to go with like 60, 75. Yeah, so not too bright, but not too dark either. And we're going to make them just going to make it invisible here so we don't see it on the way. And yeah, we're done. Well, we're not done, but we've, we've done everything we're doing for the video today, which has been quite a long video, to be honest with you. But yeah, we've done quite a bit today. We've done, you know, block design, ground spikes, custom background and this little gradient thing here. So it's been... It's been quite cool and quite fun. Of course, it still needs a lot more decoration. A lot more um, details around here. But yeah, I'll get to that after. I'm just going to show you what I've done now and we're going to check it out. So here we go. What have we done today? So here we are into the flying part. You can see everything kind of blends together quite nicely. It's still still quite empty, as you can see, but of course, more decoration requires more time. And I'll be finishing this, of course, and you'll see it in the finished level. So stay tuned for that because it will be out in about, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks, depending how inspired I am. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. So that was it for this video, guys. I know a lot of you have been asking for more advanced stuff. So here you go. A bit more of a modern building style today. Um, it's for my new level of course and it's going to be pretty great I'm hoping that I can actually get a place in the contest this time that would be really nice I hope you liked how the level's going so far I've been putting a lot of time into it and yeah I think it's going to turn out pretty nice so yeah that will be it for the video guys I hope you enjoyed I hope you had a good time watching and possibly learned something or took something away from the video that would be amazing 
I thank you for coming and watching and I'll see you all in the next video. So until then, take it easy, have a good one and I'll see you later, mate.